my name is Rachel and welcome back to my channel Bales 1986SW. Today is Thursday so it is a weigh in update. So before we talk about what I happened off the scales, um, let's talk about my week I have had. If you've watched my new series Sunday Snuggles you will know that on Sunday, let's start, let's stop there, let's start on Thursday on plan, Saturday on plan, Sunday the hubster wanted a Cosmos. Now, if you've never heard of a Cosmos, Cosmos is a buffet restaurant that serves lots of different cuisines throughout from throughout the world. So, from Chinese to Indian to Mexican to Italian to English, you name it, there is an array of it. And I went there really, really scared because I was like, this is like my worst situation. And what I realised was is I could still have a good time and still food optimise. Now, if you've been watching my channel a while, you know if I go out, I don't go, that's so many sins or anything like that. I make the best possible choice whatever situation I am in. And then the next meal, it's 100% on plan. <coughs> it's just something that works for me, uh, but you have to do what works for you. So I went into the restaurant, I had a Pepsi Max, um, it's a refill, um, I had that, and then I had vegetarian sushi, I had it with lettuce and cucumbers and tomatoes, um, I had a little bit of boiled rice, a little bit of korma sauce, um, a little bit of um, some p uh, p um, pasta, a little bit of garlic bread with the pasta, and then I had a slither of a waffle, and Max had a little like little dish of like melted chocolate and I dipped it in and the chocolate was like not a chocolate I liked as you know I like Cadbury's um so I had that and I was really really full like I thoroughly enjoyed my meal um but I knew that I didn't think well I need my money's worth I didn't think well like sod it basically I'm going to have everything I just made the best possible choices whatsoever and the food I ate I absolutely enjoyed it so that was Sunday and then it was just normal <coughs> Monday Tuesday Wednesday normal now if you've watched me last week or in my Sunday snuggles I mentioned that I was going to do my five 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 challenge and you're asking how's that going Rachel I'll tell you how it's going it happened Monday and what I've realized is and this is like me being brutally honest here is I can't do structure I can't structure my meal so on Monday I um, filmed it, I I filmed it all, I I made the butternut and squash, butternut squash broccoli bake, absolutely thoroughly enjoyed it, really nice recipe and then came, sun, came Tuesday and it was sticky pork and f plain noodles and I made it but it came to, it came to sort of Tuesday and I made it but before making it I was like I don't really want this. I, I really don't want this food and like I'm looking at the like my meal plan and I'm like I don't want that and I don't want that and I don't want this so I made the sticky pork but I didn't enjoy it at all so I'm thinking why am I doing this am I doing this because I thought it would be a really nice challenge really challenge myself and be different and do that I don't know what I was thinking because as soon as I started meal prepping and started going let's just challenge myself into cooking I just didn't like it and I felt that I was on a diet and I know that sounds really silly but I just didn't do it so there won't be any more 555 five, five challenge because on Wednesday I had an on plan meal but I had my spaghetti bolognese um, and that's what I had and I thoroughly enjoyed it because I had the ability to choose what I wanted and that's what I'm trying to trying to get over is because I had my meeting and I, I had staples in that's what I was feeling and so I had spaghetti bolognese um, which is obviously more than five recipes and it's not in the, the five book and I'm not going to see that as me failing I am just seeing that as I understood that me meal plan meal planning and me being really strict on myself for me 
it, it just wasn't working for me. I didn't like it. I didn't enjoy it. Therefore, I wasn't enjoying the meal. And then I'll be really honest, on Tuesday, I could have, after that meal, I could have picked, picked, picked and picked, but I didn't. I couldn't. Um, I, I, I couldn't. Um, I think it was Tuesday, actually. Yes, it was Tuesday that um, Debbie from Debbie's World went live and you know what, I was so thankful she did that because on, if she had not gone live, I'd probably ended up in the kitchen overeating because I felt so restricted um, on Tuesday after that sticky pot. It sounds ridiculous, but I just thought that's it. And then on Wednesday, I just went back to my normal. I went in at my normal time where I'd prep tea and I went, actually I fancy spaghetti bolognese and that's what I had and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So, I do apologise if you were looking forward to my 555 challenge or those recipes. I just couldn't do it and I can't do something which I haven't got my heart into or it's going to be really detrimental to me. Um, so, I just ended it there and then. So, we're looking at it as a positive. I understood that I wasn't capable of doing it. I didn't like being restricted and I'm not seeing it as like me failing at something. I'm just saying it wasn't for me and let's get back on to what I like doing. So that was Tuesday, Wednesday spaghetti bolognese and Thursday has been an unplanned day and it will be until e uh, at evening as well. I've got nothing, um, nothing else. So what did I do when I got on those scales? I, smiley face, I lost two and a half pounds. So I've totally lost four stone and 12 and a half pounds and I am dead on 12 stone. Like 12 stone. So, um, one and a half pounds will see me getting my first five stone award. But I am not set anything in stone. So I'm not putting the pressure on me. If I, if I get my five stone, I get it. Um, I'm not doing it. I just know that I thoroughly enjoy my plan. And I will say, when I get to my five stone, it could be in four weeks, it could be actually next week. Whenever that will be, well then that's when I will call it, call it. But I am not calling target just as yet. Um, I don't want to, I'm thoroughly enjoying the plan. And if I gain next week, again, if I lose, brilliant. I'm just not putting any pressure on me. The plan works and I'm just in really enjoying the plan and the food I am eating. So what will be next week will be, but one and a half pounds will get me my five stone award. And when I get my five stone award, that's, that's it, me done there will be no weight loss journey for me. What it will be, will be a maintenance plan. I have to find some, I have to find a maintenance plan which works for me. So that means I'll have to really look into the Slim for Life book um, and try and find something which I can physically cope with because I can't eat an extra B choice. Um, it, it doesn't work for me. Um, but it could be having it slightly bit more sins um, so it could be like having nuts on an evening because I do like nuts and making like a, a treat bowl with nuts and um, it could be introducing avocado however to me avocado is more of a summery um, thing where I have it on mash I've, I liked it mashed with a fried egg so to me that just is it's a summer thing um, so this there's things I've been looking at so like the Ravita cracker breads, I'm eating a, a bit more of those cracker breads with cottage cheese on top. Um, so I, I like them and I know you can have them as a healthy extra B. Um, so there's them, there's a, quite a lot of choice I can do. But at the moment, all I'm focusing on is liking myself and f looking in a mirror and being proud of where I've come from. And if someone had got a magic wand and said, I can make you 12 stone in just just over a year, would I take it? I'd be like, yeah. And that's what I am. Like, my numbers do not define me. Like, I am so happy, so comfortable. <clears throat> but it, that, and I am quite positive and I just hate seeing things as a negative. Uh, but this week has been thoroughly hard for me. Um, really hard, really challenging. I may I may get losses every week and things like that but that doesn't mean that it's not hard work for me and it doesn't mean that I don't have those challenges like everyone else does those challenges of I'll have an extra biscuit or I go sod it I'm a sod it Susan kind of 
person and what I mean by that is you know at Christmas where you have like stay on plants Sally whatever it is and Sodic Susan you know those people you know what I mean um <coughs> there's the days when I go like that um but because I've worked this plan the way it suits my lifestyle so having literally no sins throughout the day and having my sins on a night time where I know that's when I want that hand to mouth action the kids are in bed it's mummy time I'll watch my TV on I watch my TV or it's mostly YouTube or Instagram lives um, and that's when I know that I need that hand to mouth so that's when I'll make my last big coffee on an evening that's when I'll lean over indulge in my treat bowl and have my up to 15 sins worth of chocolate sometimes I don't sometimes I have about six seven eight sins but because I'm allowed for the 15 sins I don't feel restricted um, but that's something I've had to work towards and, work and find where I can fit Slimming World into my diet into my lifestyle and not making my lifestyle fit Slimming World kind of thing it's the opposite round this doesn't own me um, I choose to work this into my lifestyle, um, what fits me and every single one of us out there does this plan completely different but we stick to it, we stick to our 1A, our 1B if you're on there extra easy and we stick to um, food optimising our meals with the speed and the free food um, and our 15 sins, things like that, that's, how, that's the rules of this. But the way we adapt it and the way we choose to do it is com it's completely different. And, and that's why I love Slimming World and that's why I realise me meal planning and me writing it down, like writing my meals down. Yes, it saved me money, like it did save me money. I just, I don't know what I was thinking because I just knew as soon as I wrote it down, I, I just felt so restricted and I know it sounds silly but I just did so come come Wednesday I was like I can't do this can't do it and I am not seeing it as a failure I'm just gonna go not for me I knew it worked for me I was trying to challenge myself because I'd like a bit more variety in my meals but the way I get variety in my meals is through my snacks and it's not necessarily my meals my meals are probably the same all week don't get me wrong i'll probably i'll probably have um butternut squash and broccoli bake again because i thoroughly enjoyed it but the sticky chicken uh, um sticky pork i probably use the sticky chicken recipe which is honey balsamic vinegar and soy sauce because to me i always had those staples in um, i had to buy teriyaki sauce i bought the wrong one which was sinned so it just wasn't for me it it, it clearly wasn't and and end of day, this I've got to do things which make me happy and what work for me. So there we go. So at group, I got my snowflake, uh, my Christmas wish. Um, I don't know what to write on it. I'll be very honest. Um, I'm. I think I'm going to write what I want next week, depending on the results. Um, but my Christmas wish to me is to be happy. Um, because that's what I want at the end of the day. Um, but we'll see what happens next week um, then I picked up the new magazine um, I haven't re read through it I just took all the bump off it and took all the like the freebies out of it um, so I'm gonna after this I'm going to sit on that couch have a cup of coffee before I record Friday finds and also I won the raffle um, and this raffle was amazing it was the page has gone it was a recipe and you got absolutely everything you need for this recipe. I do apologise about the rustling. And it was a zippity chilli beans recipe. Um, so, yeah, may not use the recipe. Do apologise, Leslie, because you know what I'm like with cooking. Um, but it's um, items which I'll use um, for other, um, other recipes. But I actually like that. So, um, I actually like all the raffle prizes. Um, but I really, really like that one. So as always, food optimise when you can, sending positive thoughts. Rachel.